Hey, what's up guys, Tiger Flash here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade a uh, Unibody MacBook Pro, so 2008 to 2012. So for this you're gonna need uh, a screwdriver with some bits, the Mac, an SSD, maybe RAM or a new battery, and a USB key. Okay, so the first step to be able to upgrade the, the Univali MacBook Pro is to prep the USB key. So you're going to need a 16 gigabyte or more USB key and you're going to need to download the version that you need. So for example, for 2012, you will need a uh, Mac OS Catalina and for older Macs is different. So check out what it is the latest supported version for your uh, particular Mac. Okay, so the first step will be to create the uh, bootable USB flash drive. So to do this, you will need the version of macOS that you need. So for me, it's Catalina because this is a 2012 Unibody MacBook Pro. My USB key is actually already done, but I'm going to show you, for example, here with Big Sure. So you will have to download the version that you need. So here I'm going to do it with Big Sure. But for you, if you have a 2012, it's Catalina. If you have an older Mac, just check out the latest supported version. So uh, actually, the first thing that you will do is find the version of macOS that you will need and download it from the web, like from the Apple Store or the web, whatever you can find it. So here is Big Sure directly from the Apple Store. I just write Big Sure here and I just downloaded Big Sure in, uh, this, on this MacBook Pro just for to show you the process. So once it's downloaded, it's going to take a while. You will be able to go here in your finder, in your application. And you will be able to find right here, install macOS Big Sure. So if it was, for example, Catalina, it will be written install macOS Catalina. So you will need to download this. Then what you will do, you will right click on it. So two finger click and you will do show package content. Then you're going to go to content, resources. And here you can see create install media. So once this is done, you can, you can now insert the USB key in the USB port of your Mac. Okay, so once the key is in, as you can see, so it, it's, it's already called install macOS Catalina because this key is already done and ready for this particular MacBook Pro. But let's pretend that we're going to do this again. I won't do it because remember, if you do it all the way, the USB key will be able to boot the new MacBook, like the upgraded MacBook but you will lose everything that was on this USB key. So be careful with that. Okay, so once this is done, you will be able to open a terminal window. So just press command and spacebar. So command spacebar or just the uh, little thing here and write terminal as you can see here and click on terminal. So now I've opened terminal. There you go. So now you want to write sudo. So as you can see, sudo like this, space. And you want to actually drag the create install media here in the terminal window. Just like this. It's supposed to write thing just like this. So after you've dragged it, just press dash dash. So here, dash dash. As you can see, volume. Just like this with no S. Okay, so once volume is written, press space again, just like this. And now you can actually just drag the USB key right here. There you go. So then you'll only need to press return on the keyboard right here. And then you're going to type in your password and then it's going to uh, like require you to press Y. You're going to press Y and then it's going to start and the process will take around 45 minutes. I won't do it here because like I said, this USB key is already ready for this MacBook Pro. So I won't do it all the way, but this is how you do it with any versions basically. And uh, yeah, if you download an older version, like for example, Sierra is going to be the same process, but you're going to need to download Sierra instead of Big Sure like I did here. So once the key is done, put it aside for a moment and we're going to work on the Unibody MacBook Pro. Okay, so the first step is actually to make sure that the Unibody MacBook Pro is shut up. So press on the keyboard a few times, look at the screen, nothing is happening. So that's what you want. So shut it all the way off. Okay, so the first step is to flip the computer around and to find the right screwdriver. Okay, so as you can see here, it's small Phillips. So you're going to need small Phillips screwdriver, just like this, one of those. Okay, so once you have the right screwdriver, just unscrew the screws and make sure to put it aside just like this, not to lose anyone. Okay. 
Okay, so once this is done, as you can see, I put the screw just like this. You can lift it from the back right here and put it aside. Okay, so right now the first thing to do will be to unplug the battery right here. So just like this. And then you're gonna need to unscrew those two screws, which are the same as the other one. Okay, so like you see, those screws won't come out. They're actually pretty stuck in here, which is good. And now you will carefully lift it, just like this, and put it aside. And then you're gonna lift here with this little tab and you will unplug the SATA cable right here. Just like this. Okay, so once the hard drive is out, you can actually unbox the new one. Okay, so once you unbox the SSD, you will need to take the four screws right here on the old hard drive and put it at the same spot in the SSD, like right here in those holes. So let's do this. To do it, you will need a T6 screwdriver. Okay, so just put the T6 in and unscrew those screws. Okay, so once the screws are uh, freed from the uh, hard drive, you can just pull this little tab right here and glue it on the SSD right there at the same spot as it was. Okay, so once this is done, you can just put back the four screw in the SSD. So that Okay, so once it's done, as you can see, I have the four screws right there. One, two, three, and four. Just put it back where it was. So set up connection facing left and put it back right here in the two holes. There's two holes right here, as you can see, two holes right in there and one in there. And then you will actually just put the screws in the holes, just like this, and you will Make sure to connect the SATA cable before doing so. So just connect it right like this. Make sure it's really pressed well. And once it's done, you'll put the screws in and just push it down just like this. So once this is done, you will take the Phillips that we were using previously and you will put back the little bracket right there. You just put it back, as you can see, just like this. And you screw the two screws back in. Just like this, and the other one. Just like this. Okay, so we're not going to do it in the video, but if you wanted to replace the battery, it's already unplugged and you just need to remove this screw and this one, pull in the little tab right here, which seems to be broken, I don't know. And this is broken too, but you can just remove the battery and replace it. And if you wanted to remove the RAM right here, you just pull like to the left with this tab, to the right with this one, remove those two, Put the other one and push push them down like so so now we're going to just plug back up the battery don't forget it just like this make sure it's plugged in well and then we're going to put the cover back on okay so now you can take the back cover just like this and put it back in the same position as it was so the little thing here facing up just like this and now it's still the same Phillips and you know where the screws were. Okay, 
okay so once all the screws are in just check that none are sticking out looks good and now you can flip it back on the normal side and yeah just to show you the other the ssd that i use is a normal 2.5 inch uh, SATA, sata ssd so 560 read 530 write and uh, it's 500 gigabyte just like the stock hard drive five year warranty is the wd blue and yeah pretty uh, i like those okay so once all the pieces are replaced you can actually open the lid back up just like this and you can put your bootable usb flash drive in the usb port of the computer so i'm going to do so right now just plug it plug it in the usb port just like this and then you would actually open the computer by holding the option key right here so let's do it option key and now the computer is booting with the option key on do you want to hold the option key until this appear so here you have install macOS catalina and windows so maybe some of you guys will just have install macOS catalina or it will be like a this usb sign but install macOS catalina and of course if you have older than a 2012 it's not going to be catalina it depends on what is on your bootable drive so for info i made the patcher uh, to install macOS Big Sur on 2012s, but I would recommend if you do a clean install like this to just install Catalina and then upgrade to Big Sur just to avoid any trouble. So here I'm going to press on install macOS Catalina. So I'm going to do enter just like this and I'm going to wait. Okay, so once you've waited long enough, this page is going to appear. So this is macOS Utility. So you, you will need to go in here, disk utility. So the last one, disk utility and press continue. Then it's gonna show you all the disks that are in your computer. So actually you wanna go here into internal. So internal is here. And you want to press on erase right here. So you wanna erase the internal hard drive and you wanna give it a name. So for me, it's gonna be uh, Mac os ssd and once you give it a name just like this the format you want to make sure that it's mac os extended journal just like this and you're going to press on erase and now it's actually erasing the hard drive and now it's done so you press here done so once the disk is erased as you can see if you press on it you have 499 gigabytes so it's good you will close this window just like this and you will go here install mac os and you're going to press continue okay so from this point as you can see it's install mac os catalina so you just need to press continue you maybe it's going to be a different version depending on what you got on the usb key and you can continue you know pretend that you read that and you continue accept and here yeah, you pretend that you read, you accept. And here you wanna choose where you want to install macOS Catalina or whatever version you're using. And you're gonna choose the internal hard drive that you just formatted. So here is macOS SSD. I'm going to press here, macOS SSD and press install. And then it's going to install macOS Catalina on macOS SSD, so the SSD. And also make sure that the computer is plugged in because this process can take a while. So just wait and let it do its thing and come back when it's going to be done. Okay, so now it's done. So it took around like, I would say 45 minutes. So let, let, let's choose the country and set it up normally. Okay, so as you can see, we're now in the computer. It's macOS Catalina and it's working flawlessly and very fast. So now we can eject the USB key. So don't forget to really eject it with the computer. So two finger and eject, just like this. You can eject it, there we go. And now, as you can see, Wi-Fi is working. And now we can go, for example, browse the web. So let's see how, you see how quick it was. And now we can search, for example, for YouTube. That's Yelp, but sorry. <laughs> I thought why would uh, give me YouTube? 
Now we can close this and for example, open photos. And as you can see, even if it's the first time that I open all of those applications, it's really, really quick compared to what it was. So let's open music. And as you can see, every app is really fast. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This Mac is now equipped with an SSD and way faster, I would say at least 10 times faster. And uh, yeah, just enjoy uh, your Mac with an SSD. You can also put uh, Mac OS uh, Big Sure on it or the latest version if you want to by using uh, the link in the description below that uh, is linked to my tutorial how to install Mac OS Big Sure on those older Mac. But for now, you can also enjoy it on Mac OS Catalina. So with that, I'm out. Ciao.